Hello everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Zeta. So, for today's episode, we are gonna go back. We've already done a go back episode, crap. We're still gonna go back and explore all of the areas that have surfable areas. Basically anywhere with water. Which, this was pointless. Well, that's a good starting point. Onward to area two. There's probably still nothing here, but we'll see. Hero. Oh, look at that! A nothing. I bet you've never seen nothing. I'll tell you a secret. I see nothing every time I close my eyes. Surprise. Now, we haven't caught anything over here. So... I don't really have a good catching Pokemon right now, do I? That's rather bothersome. Hmm. I don't. Well, we'll just fudge it and see. And hopefully I don't kill it. Because these are the first two Pokemon here, I think. And hopefully they're not 50s. Their 50s were screwed. Can't catch him! Oh, and he's only level 8. Alright, that's fine. I could just uh, confuse Ray and hope he doesn't kill himself. It'd take a while. What is this? A Gyaradosite. Well, we're never using that because Magikarp is already a legendary Pokemon. We don't want to make evolve him after we evolve him. Why would we ever want Gyarados? Magikarp champion Pokemon. So is that it for over there? I think so. Looks like it. So I'm assuming we can't go through these. Otherwise there wouldn't be a point to putting them in the game. Yeah. Okay. Onward to area 3. Let's see what's up here. Could it be anything interesting? A place we can't go because we don't got waterfall. Awesome. What? Okay. Just... Oh. Nope. Bye. See ya. Later, cool guy. Cool girl. <laughs> That's really funny. Jumps on the bridge while the Pokemon jumps out and attacks me. Nothing? Uh, no. Usually in Pokemon games, they at least have something. Alright, we'll check up here. The whole waterway down south with all the fishermen didn't have anything. This looks promising so far. Ooh. Hello. Hello, Ashuwat. Oh, yeah, Shubat's, uh. <laughs> little battle animation doesn't work so well. Just so you know. Cause uh... That's like the top of his ears. Oh! What? Is there supposed to be a Pokemon in there? Hmm. They look really weird and swoop at from like... All sides actually. Hmm. Alright. Well, that was there, and a waste of time, kind of. Here we go. Finally, somewhere that might actually prove like it has purpose. Probably not, there won't be anything. Oh! Actually, didn't. Hello. Can I. Hello? I can't interact with them. Well, that's a bag of dicks. Crabby, no. I can't. Sorry. We also have one more catch we can do in, um, in Kivu Town. In the water. I kind of wanted to see the, um... Oh, damn. The grass over by where that TM was. Let's see if I can catch anything in the grass. Because we're doing alright for water Pokemon for now. 
Like, I mean, we haven't really lost many of them. We've lost plenty of other Pokemon, but not, not too many waters. But then again, I mean, all it takes is like one bad F up and uh, we'll be running low on any Pokemon. And every Pokemon. Come on, Sue, let's see what's down here. A house. Sunny day. Uh, it's okay. Hello. Oh, you're a Snorlax. Um. The problem is, I don't know what level he is. Cause like, I mean, I could tank him. I could tank him with Anthony. And Morpheus, probably. Probably. But, I don't want to. Cause I know Snorlaxes have normal moves. They have mostly normal moves, but they can have roll out. And that's what I don't want to deal with. Is chain rollout BS. He could have Earthquake too. He probably won't. I don't think they'll learn that naturally. And since he's our 20s, and we're having to deal with 30s, I'm gonna guess he's 30. But knowing po this, the curve so far, he could be 40. He could be 35. And 35 in Snorlax is scary when we're dealing with 30s. Is that it so far? No. I think that is it. There might be something over here. No? Okay. Alright. Well, we're gonna explore the beach in Kivu Town. Yeah. After I rest. Onward to adventure. And by adventure, I mean the beach. With all the seamen. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. I don't think I fully explored the beach. Did I? I guess maybe I did. I didn't think I did. I thought I half assed it. Okay. Can we catch anything here? Maybe not. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's a pain. Um. Who's gonna be our best for catching? Probably legendary. Or Sue. Sue's got Brick Break right now, doesn't she? Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, so let's just start with so. All right, first Pokemon here. And that's it. Only in Kivu Town. Can't be in the next region. All right. We are catching a mother effing Krabby. I'm cool with that. You're 22. I was prepared for this. You have acupuncture and synthesis. You have bug bite and other things, but you're scary. If Morpheus confusion doesn't work out so well, I'll just chain throw a Pokemon. Ch chain throw Pokeballs at him. But this should be fine. Where am I? I'll just do this and double team. Okay. But yeah. I wanted to bring Qbert, but Qbert's Qbert needs a break. He's been he's been acing quite a while. That's good. You can you can do that. It's gonna be a little rough without Qbert, because he's been 
doing pretty good backup work. But we should be fine. Legendary, honestly, has been pulling his weight really well. Krabby, you don't understand. You are confused. It's you're, See, look, you think you're in a field because there's a grass area behind us? You're really not. You know, you know mud shop, but that doesn't matter. Because Krabby, we're in the sea. There's no mud, there's just water. There's sand. It's okay, Krabby. I think Double T maxed out right now. Oh, it's not. Oh, it only raises it by one, not two. Okay. Damn it, Krabby. He didn't snap out. Right? Yeah. And we should have one more double team to do. Krabby. No. No, that's enough. And see, that is enough. God dang it, Krabby! Punch yourself! These are confused rays haven't missed. That's pretty good. There. And now we'll just throw Pokeballs on him and hope. Eh. Until I can put him to sleep, I'm not gonna throw him nothing lower. Yay. The River Crab Pokemon. Krabby lives in holes dug into beaches on sandy shores with little in the way of food. They can be seen squabbling with each other over territory. Aww. He's not Krabby. He feels bad. And I was thinking about limiting the digging thing. I really was for a while. But limiting how much we dig in the mine to get like a lot of money, infinite money essentially. It doesn't really it doesn't really make too much more sense. Cuz yeah, I can buy a lot of super potions and hyper potions and pokeballs making it easier, but it would just be more time consuming to do it normally and then I when I lose Pokemon I'm gonna have to train them and I'm gonna have to spend money to train them quicker than I would just normally so I'll take you on do you have the lucky egg no you have leftovers he has lucky egg Take leftovers. This is a little worrisome because these guys are all a little low. But champions are made in the line of fire. Feel the awesome power of your water Pokemon. And we got legendary. Legendary's good. There's no water fighting Pokemon aside from like kind of Poliwhirl and Wrath. Alright. Start out strong. Okay. Well, if you're gonna set up, I'll set up. Just one, though. I don't need two. Ooh. Hmm. So Aqua Ring will heal him every turn. Okay. On you snapped out. That's fine. Yeah. About as much as leftovers. Which is a good move. Okay. That was all we needed. It's still raining, so the other Pokemon he throws out will still be strong. And Azumarill's gonna have some high special defense, so I was a little worried. Dang it. Hello. Who's next? No worries. As long as he doesn't kill me in one hit. No, he. Hmm. He could do. He's 35. He might be able to do Hydro Pump. We're faster. It doesn't matter. He's dead. Really? Forex weakness? 
Really, you live that with a 4x weakness. Hmm. I don't remember Gyarados having that much health in general. The butt. Yes, the butt semen. No. There's all these weird places in this game where I really don't see how you get there. Who knows? So until we get to another route, we can't catch any Pokemon. I still have one gym catch though from the ghost gym. So we could catch something. Rain dance. Okay. Why did the no wait. Why did the volume, not volume, music, restart? Mm -mm. Hello, semen. Oh, it's Denko. Come to see me at last. I'm not. Well, sure. Whoa. That's worrisome. Why don't you have a name, sir? Can you please? Hmm. I'm worried about this one. Okay. I think honestly I want to set up double teams. At least two or three. This one's got me worried. Oh, and he's stockpiling. Well, if he wants to tank up, because I mean, it only. Oh, it does raise a special defense. But he can't spit up. Because spit up won't hurt me, because I'm ghost. So he'll just be raising his defenses. If a dude does not have a name in Pokemon, it is never a good sign. He's still confused, right? We're, we're doing a buff off. Okay, now he's not confused. Brine! Okay. That's bothersome. If I remember, Brian gets more powerful if they're above half health. It's either that or below, and if it's below, we're in trouble. Okay. I'm surprised he hit me twice. I mean, we've got like, what, 30% evasion? Ish? Maybe, maybe less. Oh. Well, we can't get hit by ground. Mm. Wish this was one of my favorite Pokemon from Gen 3. I mean, he does have a 4x weakness, so I always had to look out for that. But I actually liked a lot of 4x weakness Pokemon from Gen 3. Like Flygon, Wishcash. And uh, Altair. Or whatever it is. Not the assassin, but the dragon flying Pokemon. The little cloud bird. I like them. They're cool. I'm pretty hypocritical. Dragonite's got not a good Pokemon, because it can have Forex weakness. Likes Flygon. But, I mean. I like Dragonair more than Dragonite. That's just me, though. Okay, Forex Weakness. Good. And we've already got three evasions up, or two. Well, doesn't matter. Well, Mr. No Name, you have no name, and you scared the shit out of me. You're not Denko. No, I'm not Ko. I'm sorry, I confused you for someone I know. Well, Mr. No Name. Don't do that again. Have we fought you, good sir? I do. Yes, we have. What about you? I think we have fought him. Yeah. I don't think we fought this guy, top right.
Yeah. Morpheus is a pretty good Pokemon, actually. I mean, he's got Levitate. Okay. He's got Levitate. He's got really good um, physical defenses, actually, for a Ghost Pokemon. Which I was surprised at. He's got an alright move set we, that we have right now. Um, Shadow Ball's pretty good. There's betters, probably. I don't know that many ghost moves. Why are you? Why do you look different? Hello. Another trainer hoping for a pushover victory. Hmm? Alright, I'll bite. Don't bite, please. Tabitha. Oh god, are you gonna throw like... Tabitha, you look really li young. Didn't you used to be a ghost trainer? Don't kill them all. We're gonna kill Pepper and Ghost is gonna come out and be like, Surprise! There are Ghost Pokemon! That'd be amazing. Kill a Pokemon, Ghost Pokemon comes out. You wanna learn Substitute? Oh. Hmm. This could be really good. Over Double Team? The problem is this is risky, and double team is risky too because I need time to set up with double team. But I'd rather double team and get killed by crit than substitute and be stuck with switching out substitutes and him killing them in one hit. Because substitute is good when they don't kill them in one hit, but if they do, then you're screwed. I don't know what the hell you are. I know your water. Am I faster? Okay. Morpheus also has some good speed. Water Pokemon are pretty fast usually. Pursuit. Okay. You're confused. And he can take a crit. Yes it is. Cause it, that only did like what, 20-ish? So even if he crit me it'd do 40. Alright. Morpheus is catching up. That's good. Oh, I wish catch again. The only thing I have to worry about is water with him. I don't even remember. I think wish catch could have thunder and. Oh, that was a crit though. And I'm confused. He can't have pursuit though. So it's okay. How much special defense does Marcus have? Yes, and okay, no. So does Legendary, though. Alright. Let's see. Use Water Pulse. Okay. So that's not gonna crit me. Or that won't kill me unless it crits. I don't even know why I got Acupuncture. I got Acupuncture because it was, um, it, ri it sharply raises one stat. But it's pointless if I'm just gonna use Giga Drain. So I have to hope for, like, a 1 in 6. Azumarill. Alright. Let's see. Special Defense. That is not Special Defense. Aqua Tail, okay. I think I'm gonna get enough health back. Uh-oh. 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 Okay. It's alright. Everything is okay. The Meryl is dead. They were astounding. That offer bit me in the behind. Don't you dare scare me like that, Tabitha. Holy crap. Actually, this isn't the best. 
So we run into a tentacle, I have to switch. Let's just see. Or for into a wingle. Let's go get him, bat bat. You can do it. With your little ear. Mist! The most useless ability in the game, pretty much. Since Gen 1. Okay. I think we're gonna keep air cutter. And we don't get um the item that replaces fly. What the I don't You see that under his arm? That's weird. And there's that little dot, like, right over there. Hmm. Alright. Well, I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center heal, and then we'll go fight that trainer down there. And then we'll, um, we'll actually get stuff done in the next episode, get to the next town. If there's even a town over here, I'm assuming. Or there's another route, that would be nice. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Zeta. Bye-bye!